welcome back to the Learning the Elements through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed lesson plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. Now we're going to talk about that value and intensity. All of these colors are the hue, so they're the name of the color on the spectrum. We're going to change the intensity and the value of the stroke. So this is your fill. So click on the stroke, go ahead and fill it with color, and that will make it the same color as your fill. But we're gonna change that to a lower value and a duller intensity. Like I said, the hue is what you have right now. And this little circle shows you what color you have. And depending on which color it is, if you were to move this all the way up here, it might adjust to be over in this direction. And that's just something that the computer does automatically. It has to do with the way that it prints and your printer can't print something as brilliant as this pure hue up here. So the color I have is a lot less intense than, than this color up in the corner. But anyway, this is your hue and that is shown by the H here. So as you move this, it controls what the hue is. And you'll see that the degree here changes between zero and 360. So if you think about it, it's like a circle. Think of red as zero, and as you go around, it changes to 180, and then all the way back around to 360. The second one here stands for saturation. And that one has to do with your intensity. Now I can switch to this and show you the saturation, but basically it makes the color less intense and changes it to be more white. The higher you go, the less intense the color. But you could do that by dragging this direction. See how this percentage goes down as I drag this direction? The same thing happens when you select this B, which actually stands for brightness, but it controls value. And see as I drag down here, it makes your color darker. So the lower you go, the more value you get. And you'll see this percentage change here. Similarly, if I go back to this setting, and I go back to my pure color, if I pull down, you'll see that percentage on the B, which is your value, come down. So what I want you to do is to make it so that it goes both lower in your saturation or your intensity, and it gets lower on your brightness. So go back to your pure color and just pull it diagonally until the color changes sufficiently. It doesn't have to be all the way over here. In fact, you don't wanna bring it all the way over because that makes it black. And we just want a lower intensity color. So once you have a lower intensity and a lower value color, click OK. And if you click away, you'll see that your stroke is a slightly darker and less intense color. Click on that color and pull up your stroke points a couple. That way you can see a little bit easier how the color has changed. You're gonna do this with the rest of the colors on your color wheel. So to recap, you're gonna click on the shape, and this is very important. You need to click on the fill, which will fill this color down here, and then click on your stroke, then click on the color again, which will fill the stroke, and then double click to find the color inside of your color picker. Then find a lower intensity and a lower value color and click OK. Then bring up your stroke two points so you have a three point stroke on all of the colors around your wheel. You can also do your stroke over here in your properties panel.
If you find when you get here that a color doesn't quite seem right, then you can always adjust it. What we did in this video was to add a stroke with a lower intensity and a lower value. If you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.